No. Uh, welcome back to the five. Uh, we were going to talk about something else, but the producers are making us talk about <laughs> the Republican presidential candidates again. Okay, let's get on to this. It's so exciting. Okay, let's talk about uh, which one of these we want to talk. I, I know. Let's Huntsman. Do this. Talk about Huntsman. You Huntsman? love Huntsman. Uh, Huntsman's a nice fellow. Oh, let me ask Dana this question. Um, Huntsman's got problems in his campaign. This guy Weaver, who people don't know who Weaver is, but he's been a political consultant for years. I've known him for a long time. It seems like every campaign he goes into, a bomb goes off. And now he's having a big problem with, his, with Huntsman's wife. And apparently Huntsman had to come out and say, I wish this craziness would get over. I thought it was the whole Republican presidential creation this would get over, but go ahead. <laughs> so this all me? started with an article in Politico in which um, a, I think a disgruntled campaign volunteer uh, spilled some beans. Um, whether or not they're accurate beans, I guess, remains to be seen. But uh, it did cause some stir because there is internal fighting and nobody likes anything more in politics than the internal fighting story i remember at the white house that would be like if anybody was not getting along like if carl rove wasn't getting along with somebody then that was big news uh but the problem for governor huntsman most i mean we just talked about governor palenti's name id being low governor huntsman has the same mm -hmm. problem uh catherine lopez of national review had a great uh, tweet today in which she said this was a brilliant move by the Huntsman campaign. Talk about infighting and get in the news. You know, it's usually campaigns that are well known that have infighting. Yeah. Not one percenters. I mean, that's <laughs> that's a bad sign. Imagine if they were actually the front runners. Yeah, you yeah can't they have bring drama. the Gatling guns out. You can't have drama if nobody knows who you are. Well, the the good this, drama is the T. Paw Bachman campaign yeah, yeah, fighting. Yeah. Oh, that's Fantastic. good drama. Yeah. Well, I, you know, we've talked about this before. On a serious note, they've got this this uh, next week. They've got the the straw poll in Ames, which is a, the Ames Republican Party's extortion uh, every year to every four years to raise money. But that's a high stakes game for both Bachman and Pawlenty because they're both from Minnesota, and uh, having been there with the Minnesotan before, they're expected to win. I think Bachman could do very well, but I also think Kermit Kane's going to do well, and he guy just won't go back to pizza. Well, and he, he just said really, today, yeah, yeah, Andrew, he said today that if he doesn't, uh, Herman Kane said if he doesn't come in third, then he's going to get out he of the He did? Race. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. God yeah, bless you, just... Herman. I, I tell you, man, you get, you just, you got some guts. Well, and uh, also Governor Romney. And what about, Romney's what is, in. what is, what is uh, 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 Bro Cream doing? Uh, Mitt Romney, what is he doing for, <laughs> is he in this? <laughs> he's, no, he's wow. not in the no. straw poll. But oh, I also not. think there's another candidate we haven't talked about yet, and that is Newt Gingrich. Yeah. And uh, where do you think yeah. that's going? Not, it's not going up. Let me put the it that way. The same place as the stock market. Yeah, it's going down very, very fast. Hey, can we talk about one person, though, that, you know, they're talking about this uh, this upcoming debate. and uh, Which is a week yeah. from today on Fox yeah. News Channel. Fox News Brett Channel. Baer hosts. So they're not going to let all the candidates on because you have to get more than, right. I guess, 1%. And that leaves out Thaddeus McCotter who is running for president, who nobody right. really knows who he is. The problem with this is he's an amazing debater. He's incredibly smart. Mm -hmm. And it's almost kind of a shame that they can't, they can't let him in. If, if that's, the, that's the criteria, well, 1%. Hell, you can get it. Yeah, and think about, we true. haven't talked about Rick Perry. Yeah. Oh, this is his, yeah. his prayer rally, Bob, one of Bob's other favorites. Ooh. His prayer rally is this weekend. People are talking about him getting in this race. Um, does it hurt him that he's not partaking in these early debates, Dana? I don't think it hurts him. Uh, necessarily. I, it could hurt him in the longer run in terms of the financial thing because you've got to set up your fundraising. And as Bob said, if you don't have the money, you can't pay for your campaign. I, you're I, not going to be able to I, run. I, I tell you, it's good reason he's having a prayer thing this weekend because that's about all he's got a chance of doing is a lot of well, prayer. Look at oh, oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. So Fred better. Thompson, Fred Thompson, if you remember, Fred Thompson went to be the savior of the party and he went to Iowa. And you talk about a meltdown, not just that ridiculous butter thing they have down there that melts every year. It's what, disgusting. What, Do away with you that. Know thing, who wins you? This, you know who wins this? The, is, it's the Tea Party. Whoever it is, oh, it's Michelle man. Bachman. You get if it, it wasn't off. Michelle you, Bachman, please, it would I'm be Rick you. Perry I'm would run in the you. Tea Party. And if it wasn't her, uh, he, either one of those, you. I think Sarah Palin please. would win that because she also I think represents the Tea as Party. As someone who's worked on six campaigns, I think Bachman uh, has a great opportunity in Iowa. I think she'll gain strength. She has a significant chance in New Hampshire, but I think South Carolina so, is really no, where she should look. Look, Bob, you might end up moving to New Zealand, like you no, said. No, no, let me I give her a lot of credit. I give her a lot of credit. She's doing well. Oh, sure, I'm sorry. 
can't, she is gaining strength despite, I think, these efforts by, as we talked about earlier, um, Pawlenty trying to take her out. His campaign spread the rumors about the migraines. Yeah. Now he actually had to pull some ads in Iowa, dirty campaign tricks. I mean, if he's trying to stay yeah, relevant, intern. he's not doing it in the right Wait, way. You're about this intern that yeah called uh, Bachman a crazy lady. I mean, but you know, I'll well, tell the you. The problem is, is more than your interns he are doing that. I think, your staff. I think yeah. the problem for Governor Pawlenty lately has been he just doesn't sound like himself. Yeah, and that's if for sure. people can smell an authentic. He it doesn't know who he is. He doesn't. Well, and no, I, no one, one else does either. Yeah. I, I was about to get <laughs> no that, but well, listen, just one, one, one thing about winning in Iowa. New Hampshire has never been good, very rarely good to the winner of Iowa. If you look back, yep. the history of that is very difficult. I think her real problem is getting through Iowa. I mean, getting through New Hampshire. I think she'll do all right in South Carolina if she can get there. All right, coming up. Is, is to, yeah, former uh, Vice President Al Gore, a true American patriot, Eric, now made a uh, <laughs> comment about the need for people at the grassroots level invigorating American democracy, which I agree with. But that said, he had the, we was, the right wingers are kind of upset with Al. What else is new? Next on the five, we'll go from 20 to Gore. Oh,